Hi yeah guys, Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to be covering how to install and use Microsoft Teams on any Linux distribution, either using a browser or a dedicated desktop application. So the first method is self-explanatory, we're going to use a browser. So all you need to do is navigate to office.com, sign into your Microsoft account, and from here, click on the Teams icon on the left hand side, which will load up the web version of Teams, which on Linux is identical to user on Windows, or in fact, any other desktop based operating system. Not really much more to say here. So the second method is a desktop application. Now, originally there was a Linux desktop version of Teams, which was released by Microsoft back in 2019. However, this has since been discontinued and they replaced it with the web application we just saw. However, sometimes I tend to find it's more convenient to have a dedicated desktop application instead. And this is exactly where the Teams for Linux GitHub project comes in, which is an unofficial Microsoft Teams client that effectively takes the web app and then wraps it as a standalone application using Electron. Now, when it comes to installation, there are several ways to install the Teams for Linux desktop application. So, for example, if you're running either Ubuntu or Fedora, they have provided installation packages which can be downloaded and run. So, for Ubuntu, this would be a dev package, and Fedora, it would be an RPM package. And you can find the latest version of these packages if you just go to the releases page of the project. Now, alternatively, you can also install this application using universal packaging, such as Snap packages. Or alternatively, you have the option of using Flatpak as well. Now, I personally like to keep it simple, and I just want to choose the option that best fits my chosen latest distribution. So for me, I'm going to go for the dev package option, simply because I'm using Ubuntu in this particular video. But in either case, once your installation process is finished, Launch the application as you normally would do from your application launcher and then sign into your Microsoft account. So as you might expect, since this application is effectively the web version of Teams, then anything which that particular format supports is available here. For example, as normal, all your current groups or chats are located on the left hand side. If you have any pinned files, then they will open up in the respectable web application. For example, Excel files will open up in the web version of Excel and Word files will open up in Microsoft Word Online. In addition, any files that are hosted on SharePoint will appear under the Files subsection. And then finally, any colored entries or meetings will be present as normal. And if you've got a compatible camera, then you can also join these meetings through the application itself. In fact, the only thing that I've found that is kind of lacking is that when you join a meeting, you can't add a custom background. But aside from that, I found everything works as it should. And that's it really. So in conclusion, as more Microsoft services and products are migrated from the desktop to the cloud via web apps, then it means that more business critical applications are made more accessible on other platforms such as Linux, which I can only see as a good thing. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching this video today. If you found it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and also subscribe to this channel to support me, as well as see more content like this in the future. Once again, thanks, and I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye now.